everyone and welcome back to Mariana Math Books. Today is Tag Tuesday and I am going to do the Your Answer Can't Be Books tag which was created by the BookBots and I was tagged in it by Elle from Elle Thinks. So thank you so much Elle for the tag and um, thank you to the BookBots for creating because it has been so much fun watching all of the videos. I am going to link a couple of videos that I really loved from this tag uh, down below. It's been super fun. Okay, so the first question is what is something you own way too many of other than books? And for this my answer really could be anything related to stationery notebooks, planners, calendars, but my answer is going to be writing tools, especially pens and markers. Here, for example, uh, I have a mug filled with pens and especially markers. I also have uh, another pencil case full of pens and um, here I have another pencil case full of pens and here I have another packet of pens and another pencil case full of pens and another pencil case full of pens so probably i also have too many pencil cases but one needs somewhere to keep all their too many pens the second question is why is something you do for fun other than reading a book so this was a hard question to answer because i feel like lately all I do is either read or um, reading related, but that is not because I don't enjoy other things or that I didn't enjoy other things previously. It's just that that is where I am at right now in my life. Um, I used to really like drawing. I used to draw a lot. I'm going to insert uh, some pictures of uh, drawings I've done in the past. Um, and I also really like writing by hand. So I love journaling. Um, but, and this is something I've mentioned in my in previous videos about a surgery I had 10 years ago for a brain tumor. Um, and I, I have had several surgery scenes which each surgery uh, my uh, it's getting harder or it gets harder to be very precise with my hands so for example I uh, almost never write by hand anymore because it takes me super long to write by hand it gets tiring and so that for that same reason I don't draw as often as I used to something that I recently discovered is collaging I actually discovered collage when I was in a rehabilitation center after a surgery um, because in during one of the therapies they had me their paper uh, as a therapy form. I'm a designer and I love design and art and everything. I wanted to do something with the pieces of paper that I was tearing and um, so I started uh, tearing pages from magazines and then I started making collages and because I'm a graphic designer I started making them into posters. I have been discovering many things I can do with collage. Um, I don't know, sometimes I make bookmarks or um, here in YouTube I discovered junk journaling and I love junk journals. I have made junk journals. I, I enjoy collaging on junk journals. Oh yeah, and because I'm a graphic designer, I like to create things. I sometimes have an idea and I don't know I make a sweatshirt for myself like I, the design and then I have it made. One year I, I made my own planner like I, I designed it um, and then I printed it and bound it. That's something I did for fun for example. I, I spent hours and hours each afternoon researching planner layouts and then print them out and use them to see which layout worked better for me and then I finished that and made it into a planner so um, that's something I did for fun so I just do random things for fun that involve creating I guess that would be the short answer to the question the third question is what is something special on your nightstand other than books? I'm going to answer something book related next to the books that I have. Um, there's also my uh, favorite annotating pen. I will link the exact uh, pen below if anyone is interested. Also, I have 
um, sticky tabs um, <laughs> and there's usually a bookmark lying around what's something you buy at a bookstore other than books that's easy planners notebooks and calendars i've mentioned in previous videos that i have been body reading the lord of the rings it's a reread for me and i fell in love with it so much for the second time that i am reading a biography about Tolkien and in his biography they were talking about William Morris who apparently was a very big influence for Tolkien he, he he has the same name as William Morris the designer that I really love who is the father of the arts and crafts movement and who I have loved since I was in college so I, I'm doing research on William Morris and apparently they are the same person so William Morris who I have been a fan of, the designer, <laughs> is the same person that is also a fantasy writer that influenced Tolkien. So you have to imagine that I was, it blew my mind. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. Now I want to read a biography about William Morris. <laughs> Yesterday I went to a bookstore for the first time since the pandemic started. I ordered a book online and then I went to pick it up. They had a shelf of calendars and I thought, okay, I'm going to just see what calendars they have. And what do I find? But a William Morris 2022 calendar. It was hidden in the back and it was literally the last one, the last copy. Like it was only, they had many of other artists, but they had only one of William Morris. I think it was fate, honestly. Like, I think you will agree that I had to buy it. Like it was waiting for me. What's a fun gift you've received other than a book or a gift card to buy books? I am going to mention two, which are the best I've received recently. So the first one, one of my sisters gifted to me for my birthday two years ago when I turned 30. She gifted me a package that she called 30 Years of Obsessions. So inside the package, there was tons of merch related to my different obsessions through the years including this t-shirt that i'm wearing that you can't really see but it says team jess in the bottom then uh keeping on theme with the lord of the rings uh she there was also the one ring to rule them all i now need the arwen's necklace which i've been wanting since i was 12 but i have the ring now there was also a pin of the ghost writer which is a show that i watched when i was like i don't know like 10 years old and um, there was a set of outlander pencils each pencil has a, a, a line from uh, the from the show because i'm a fan of the show i don't like the books that's a topic for some other day i don't like the books but i love the show as i said she called it 30 years of obsessions and it was this this package and then the other is a very special thing i don't know i've never heard anyone else have this experience with a gift before and i had to talk about it so this was before the pandemic like right before there, there was just one person at my house who when they came back they found uh, an envelope that someone had shoved under the gate of my house like from the street they shoved it under the gate and it was an envelope with my name on it it just said mariana no address no nothing just mariana and so when i came home i found this envelope with the name mariana on it and inside there was this like really old looking envelope with a seal that was from hogwarts and inside was my letter for uh, of acceptance to hogwarts i know i know this series uh is not well received in booktube anymore but i'm talking about the gift not the series i when i read it when i was 11 i i've always said that the saddest thing in my life is that, that i never received my letter of acceptance to to hogwarts and so um when i came back yeah it was just an envelope i i actually framed the letter 
more more so because of the gift like the whole experience of the gift than the letter itself uh, because it was such a mystery that I came home and, and the envelope was waiting for me I mean no one said anything we didn't know who it was from I had my suspicions or I have my suspicions that it was from one of my cousins so I wrote to her and I was like hey did you have something to do with this and she's like no oh my god but that's amazing wow like to this day she still denies that she's the one that brought it to my house but I I really do think that it was her but to this day I have no confirmation of, of who it was that brought this envelope so it was a very magical mysterious experience that i just came home and this envelope with my name on it was waiting for me and no one knows uh, where it came from and it was my letter of acceptance to hogwarts so yeah that was a very cool gift the last question is what is a booktube channel that you watch other than booktube mostly they have to do with this creating uh, the same thing that, that I answer when it's I, what I do for fun. So planning or journaling, videos on junk journaling. Mainly I like watching flip through. So meaning people that have their journals and they flip through them. And people that make junk journals and flip through them. Um, I also enjoy watching studio vlogs from illustrators or artists. Oh, I really like watching reaction videos for my current obsession so for example currently i have been watching tons and tons and tons of reaction videos for people that watch the lord of the rings movies for the first time and i am currently obsessed with those videos and i love watching them so when i whenever i'm obsessed with a show or a movie or something i will uh, binge watch reaction videos for those so i am going to link down below some channels for the things that i have mentioned except for the reaction videos because for those i don't have specific channels it's more that when I have an obsession, I specifically search for reactions to that particular obsession of mine. The very last question with I, I don't consider like a tag question, but it is to tag five booktubers you want to know more of. I am going to mention some people, but yeah, as everyone says, it's no pressure. It's just like genuinely I would be curious and I would be curious to learn about many, many people, but I think especially because of the nature of this tag, I would love to see the answers of people who either are not from the US or don't live in the US. So for example, Roxy from Chaotic Bibliophile, Natalie from A Curious Reader, I was going to say Michelle Lexi from Australia, but she already did this tag and I absolutely you need to go watch that video it's uh, amazing i will link it down below but oh for example kasen that always doing who she lives in japan i remember kasen if you don't this one already those are the ones i can think of of the top of the top of my head but if you are one of the few channels who watches me <laughs> and wants to do it go ahead and do it roxy i and uh, natalie I don't think I have seen do many tags so I don't know if they do tags but if, if they want to do it go ahead yeah I guess that would be it for the tag thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday with a general bookish video